people of God, I have a word for you guys today. As I came home from church last night, God began to speak to me. He began to minister to my spirit. He began to give me the word, throw your net in now. And the word now began to stick out to me. It began to stick out to me. And I Google it and the word now means at that present time and moment. And we want so much things from God. We want God to bless us with so much stuff. And at that time, it was, it's not God's timing. Our time is not God's time. He said, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. So God is not going to bless us when we want him to bless. He's going to bless us when we're going to bless us when he wants to bless us. Because sometimes we want things from God and we don't meet the expectations of that. So God is saying, it's, it's, it's reaping season now. This is the time where you, I want you to throw out your net now. And he took me to Luke 5 and 1 and in verse 3, 11. And it said, I'm going to read a little bit, little bit for it. I'm going to read a little, little bit of it. And, and, and it says, one day as Jesus was standing by the lake of Jesuray, the people were crying around him, listening to the word of God. He saw at the water uh, at the water's edge two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. Washing their nets. He got up and, and into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put Put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished from when he had finished speaking to speaking, he said to Simon, "Put out into the deep waters and let down the net for a catch." Simon answered, "Master, we have worked all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, but because you say so, I will let down my net." When the Bible said when they had when they had done so, they caught a, a large number of fish that the net began to break. Listen, God said this is reaping season for you. This is reaping season for you. This is a reaping season for you. God said this is a season where you're going to be begin to reap everything that you have sown. I know sometimes in life, this 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 this, this story has. When, it, when God gave it to me, it, 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 it touched my spirit because not only is it for me, it had to touch me. It, I, it's not only just for me, it's for you guys. But I know sometimes in life, these fishermen has been, have, have, have been working all night. The Bible says they work all night and they were coming to a, a complete. I, I, I know sometimes we all have these jobs and you know it, I, you know when you're working and you begin to, you, you, when you're going to check out, you're going to clock out, you have to put your, you have to prepare stuff for the next day. And you come into an end of the service, you come to the end of the job and you're just like, I'm done. And I know sometimes time after work you be so tired but this is what the people was going through they were they were going to a place where they was just frustrated and tired and imagine being tired you have fish all night you haven't caught nothing you you, you haven't caught not one fish and i can imagine how hungry they was and how hungry their families was and how hungry their, their kids was and they had came to a place where they haven't caught nothing and god began to step into side inside simon boat i know you've been waiting on god and you have been fishing and you saying lord I, i'm tired now god i, I don't i don't see you, you you i don't see your hand i don't see you moving i don't see nothing, nothing happening for me and i'm getting frustrated and these people these fishermen was frustrated with god and they were kind of like to the place where they were you know what i i i, I just think got time for I'm, I'm getting to the place where I'm just, I'm just done. And that's what God wants us to the place where, we, where, 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 we're just, where we're just completely done. And God began to tell Simon, Simon, I want you to throw out your net. Throw out your net. And Simon told God, he said, God, but, but, God, but God, I have fished all night. I, ha I have fished all night. I haven't caught nothing. But because you said so, I'll, I'll throw out my net. The Bible said when he threw out his net, the Bible said he cut a large, member, a large number of fish to the point that they had so much fish. They, they began to put fish inside the boat. And the Bible said the boat began to sink. The Bible said, God said, this is an overflow season for you. And he said, everything that you have sown, which is good or bad, you're going to reap it. God said, this is reaping season for you. And God said, from the month of January, this is reaping season for you. He said, everything you have sown, he said, you're about to get ready to reap. If it was good or bad, God said, I know sometimes in life you feel as if you've been, you've been throwing your net out and you see no, you, you haven't caught nothing. You have you have thrown your net out and you haven't caught nothing. This is a season where you're about to catch everything. You have, Everything you have reaped, you're about to get ready to sow it. And these people people these fishermen were at a place where they were just they were done for the day and 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 and, and god began to tell them to throw out that net and the bible said they caught so much fish to the point they had to tell the people come over here and help us with this fish it's so much fish i i i, I can't i can't i can't i can't even understand what god it's so much stuff that god is doing for me i, I don't know what to do with it so god is saying this is your reaping season everything that you have so he said i see when you didn't have no money but you put your light bill money into the offering plate you're gonna reap that god said everything that you have done and everything you have sold for your pastors for your friends, people, the people. He said, every, he said, all the labor that you have so we, it, people did not see it. Because I said, what you do in seek, I reward you openly. He said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, even though have, even, even they have it entered into your heart what I'm about to do for you. God said, this is reaping season for you. You're going to reap everything that you have sown. God said, this is a, he said, I will bless you. He said, everything that you have sown, you're going to
get ready to, to you, you, you get ready to reap it. So God told me to tell you on this on this live to encourage you that He is in your He's in your boat. God said He has seen your frustration. He has seen you. He has seen you worrying and crying and saying, God, well, where are you? God, God said, I'm stepping inside your boat. He said, I want you to throw out your net now. He said, This is the time, this is the season where I'm about to get ready to give you everything that I have promised you. And I sometimes I know sometimes we get in life where we say, Lord, you know what? I'm getting frustrated, I'm getting tired, I'm tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. And God, I, I don't know. I, I've, been, I've been praying to you, God. I've been fasting. I've, I've been going to my concentration. I've, I've, been, I've been in your word, God, but I don't see. I don't see nothing, God. And God said, this is a time where you're going to get ready to reap everything you have sown. And he told me to leave you with this, with this scripture, Malachi 3 and 10. Malachi 3 and 10 says, I will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. A blessing that you will not have room to receive. That's no room to receive the blessing that God has for you. That's, that's nothing that you, there's no space in your house that can receive the blessing that God has for you. God said, this is a reaping season for you. Everything that you have sown, you about to get ready to reap. You guys stay encouraged.